Hey YouTubers, Mike from Project Manuals. Today I'm pretty excited. We got a new generator. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna unbox it. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so we've always had smaller, like 1800 watt inverter generators or 2000 watt inverter generators. Found real quick that having a 30 foot fifth wheel, not near enough. So what do we do? We got the P. 4500i from Onan, the Cummins branded. Apologies for my allergies. Uh, I guess the pollen's up to date. Uh, this thing will run the microwave, the air conditioner. I mean, the list goes on and on. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to unbox this bad boy, and we're going to see this thing run and try to give you a real-world uh, review of it. I did a lot of research. I really think this is, for the money, the best one out there. I got to the local RV shop here in town, uh, they had one. Uh, they actually price matched at uh, 1048, and I had to pay the tax, which is okay. But uh, I could have drove to Texas and picked one up for a thousand. But for the 50 bucks, it wasn't worth my time to drive. So, without further ado, let's open this bad boy up. Manual instructions. She's heavy. I got it un unloaded. It's a little heavy. Um, I'm pretty stout. Um, I think the box is 100 pounds and they think they say it weighs like 95. So I would say a two person lift if you're gonna put it in the back of a truck. Um, I've got a 17 Ram 2500 and I'll turn the camera around here in a second. And as you can see, it uh, sits slightly above the frame rails not bad though so I think you could put this in under your fifth wheel and uh, close the tailgate and just unload it whenever you're uh, putting in place but as you can see it comes with all the standard features you got your uh, 30 amp plug two uh, 120 volt plugs and these have little uh, detents that help kind of seal it up from the weather which is kind of nice and then you can parallel it with two if you want to run the air conditioner at 50 amps all the time. So uh, came with a nice little uh, box of tools here. Uh, looks like you got a spark plug wrench, a screwdriver. There's a power supply. I'm not sure what that's for. I haven't got into the manual. Um, it did come with uh, a little quart of uh, small engine oil funnel. So that all came in that box. But go ahead and get this bad boy uh, loaded up and. Uh, with oil and gas, connect the battery, and check it out. So, let's give it a go. Thanks. Okay, so, just so you know, kind of what I've done here is, uh, I have, see if I got, I've added some, uh, boards under here to try to level this up. I put a level on it this way and this way to make sure that I was level. Um, the oil dipstick, right here there it is it's dry that's got a little more oil moisture on it oil. probably from uh, the factory um, and the battery has a quick connect here looks like uh, here's one end of the cable oh it just plugs together okay cool so the grounds probably already plugged in or maybe there's a cord somewhere I don't see it yet but we'll figure that out all right, finally got the oil put in it. 
that's a pain in the butt right there. Um, I didn't use quite a quart or 0.6 quart. So I'm gonna keep the jug, check it again after I run it for a few minutes. Um, I did take the uh, zip tie off. And as you can see, the uh, both ends of this are here. So I'll get that connected. Um, I think from what I read, that's all I gotta do. I'll do that, set it down. We'll add some fuel and then we'll give it a go and see how loud it is. All right. All right. So I got everything connected and I just found the key fob. Is that not the coolest thing? So pretty excited about that. Um, power's on. I'm going to set it down, put fuel in it, and then uh, we'll... Uh, the light came on, so apparently the battery's got to charge. So let's get this going. All right, guys. So evening had to take a small detour. We have some friends over, some kids over, pizza, all that good stuff. So anyway, got back into it. Um, do want to show you that I took the oil drain cover off, checked the oil again. It took almost a full 0.6 quarts to do that so what I said before was probably not absolutely accurate um, it is on let me grab the remote here's the key fob which is awesome um, it's not terribly loud um, it's in here so the noise is going to bounce off that and over here so it's going to be a little louder but um, simply push the start button As you can hear, it's not very loud. Now, the great thing about this generator is it's going to allow us to do a little bit more boondocking, not have to pay to camp. Uh, we go to my parents a fair amount, and we have access to a sewer to get rid of the waste, and we have water, but we don't have electricity where that's at. So we'll be using, taking advantage of this generator for the summer, hopefully uh, be able to camp a little more next to my parents and uh, have the kids go see the grandkids. So, I'm going to turn that off, because it is a little loud. So, if you guys are wondering where this is, I found this, and it was wrapped around that strap right there. So, but, we will put it with the trailer, and Bella is looking for her mom. Bella. All right. So, I think it was a, for doing this by myself, I think this is a pretty good video. Um, one of the things that I did to try to make life a little easier, I'm pretty good about maintenance on stuff, is I put all of the extras in a Ziploc bag to just try to keep what little bit of oil was left from making a mess. And I also have, I can refill this oil, and, or the container here, and reuse it whenever I do an oil change. So the maintenance interval on this, just to show you, is, and I don't know if you can see this or not, is after 20 hours you change the oil, and then every 50 hours after that. So uh, 20 hours would be you know a long weekend or something if you're running it during the day. And uh, I put this on the outside so I could see it and put this with our Grand Design Owner's Manuals. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we'll trying to do more videos. It's hard working full-time jobs with two kids, but uh, we're definitely gonna put a stronger effort into making more videos.